Hello, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to cancel subscription on Shopify. So I'll be showing you how to cancel an app subscription and also how to cancel a Shopify plan. The first thing you want to do once on your Shopify admin page is go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to select apps. After selecting apps, you're going to tap on the app that you would like to cancel the subscription for. Once you have tapped on the app, you're going to go over to the top right hand corner and you're going to see three dots right beside the pin. You're going to tap on the three dots, then you're going to select manage app. After selecting manage app, you will be redirected to this page and from here you will see the billing and then you're going to scroll down, you're going to scroll all the way down and you're going to tap on delete app. After selecting delete app, you can choose from the feedback option and from there you can simply select which one you want. So you can select any one of these options, then you'll tap on delete and that's it, app has been successfully deleted. Now, if you would like to cancel your Shopify plan or change your Shopify plan, all you have to do once in settings, you are going to tap on plan from the left hand menu option. After tapping on plan, you will see your current plan. As you can see right here, I'm currently on the basic Shopify plan. Then you are going to scroll down and from here, you are going to select deactivate store. So you'll tap on deactivate store. Then you'll see this option, switch to, switch to pause and bill if you would like to pause. Or you can start a new store for $1 per month. But I'll tap on deactivate store. And you can see that your store information will be stored for up to two years. What is the main reason for you closing this store? Then from here, you can select any one of these options. Whether you're permanently closing the business associ associated with this store or you're switching to another platform, or you were just testing out Shopify, you can select any one of these options. Then you're going to tap on continue. And you can see right here, after you deactivate your store, you no longer have access to Shopify admin, including your sales data, reports, or product, and customer information. If you decide to give this a try another time, We'll, remain, we'll retain this information so you can kickstart your store. Then you're going to enter your password. And after you have entered your password, you'll tap on deactivate store. And that's it. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.